Hey you guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be teaching you a real simple thing that you can do, but lots of people wondering how to do it. It's how do you change a .zip .ipsw file into a real .ipsw file? And these things are used if you're probably a jailbreaker and you're trying to upgrade or downgrade or something of the sort and you'll notice when you search up the downloads you'll get a .zip file instead of what you want as a .ipsw file but I will teach you how you can change this to a .ipsw file right here I have a 4.3.5 one and if you open it up you'll notice there's all this things there's no actual .ipsw file that you can easily use with iTunes but how you're gonna do this is you're gonna go to your start menu it might be a little different for everyone but you're gonna go to control panel then you're gonna go to appearance and personalization you're gonna click that and you're gonna look for the one that says folder options this is gonna be different for your operating system I'm on Windows 7 if you're on Windows XP I believe it should be somewhere else, but just look for the one that says folder option. I promise you it's there. And you click that. And then you go to your view section. Now this might be a little hard to see, but there's going to be one over here that says hide extensions for known file types. It's going to be checked. Uncheck that. That's all you have to do. I already unchecked mine, so make sure to uncheck hide extensions for known file types and then click apply and then click OK now drag the zip file onto your desktop like I did right click it and then click rename for the last go up delete the dot zip and enter dot IPSW now you have to click the enter key don't just click out click the enter key and it's going to say if you changed a file name extension, this file may become unstable or if you want to change it, click yes. We have now just successfully changed this, as you can see, to a restore IPSW file, which we can successfully use for iTunes. I got my iPod right here plugged in. I'm not going to actually update to that. It's on iOS 5, which came out today, which is pretty cool. And then you just shift and left click the restore button if you're on a, if you're on Windows and option left click if you're on a Mac. And now as you can see, here's my 4.3.5. It is now a restore.ipsw file. You can easily just use that to restore your device instead of having to hassle with how to deal with it as making like that but that's how you do it guys if you found this video helpful please like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys later